And I'm back again for a real vlog this time. Uh, not just a short update. I'm a little sick right now. Trying to fight off this a cold. <laughs> so that's that's why I sound a little different, but uh, I'm still house sitting. Uh, I'm back at my house right now just because I, I don't want to film at someone else's house uh, without their permission. So yeah, uh, right now things at work are actually going good. I did try applying for a job in produce at this same store I work at and I talked to the produce manager but he, he said that he was looking for someone with produce experience that he could train uh, to take over for his assistant manager with, who's leaving in, in a few months. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably not going to get that job, but I'm still looking, uh, but in the deli, uh, like, I'm, I'm not sure if I explained the whole story. I think it was just the uh, bits that I talked about, but what happened is the manager that hired me, uh, she left to go to another store, uh, like four months after I was hired. And then the, the assistant manager took over, as soon as she took over or right before she took over, she had a accident at work, like, like, I, I think she was in the cooler and something fell on her leg. So she was out and she had to have surgery on her leg. And then I think they had to do surgery again, either, either on the same leg or on the other leg to even it out, but she, she was out since probably September, I think. So then the next person in line took over and, and th they've actually all been women who have been the manager, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So We've, I've had three different deli managers since I started in May. And the one, the current deli manager, I don't really like. I, I like her better than the second manager, but I s still not, not really liking her. But I kind of like her better now than when she first took over. She seems nicer now. But uh, I, I think she has been doing a good job running the place. Uh, but anyway, apparently now she kind of likes me too. Because uh, she's talked to me about getting me off of the closing shifts. Um, like at least, at least uh, for some weeks. Uh, could, I've been doing closing shifts for uh, probably two months, two, Two and a half months, I say, at least. No, almost nothing but closing shifts. So she's talked to me and and 
we've had a couple other people leave the deli. Uh, so they've been hiring other people and one of the people they've hired uh, is going to be a, a closer. And I think what's going to happen is I'm going to be switching shifts with the new person like every other week. I'll be closing and then the other weeks when I'm not closing I'll be doing uh, what's called a mid-shift, where I work noon to 8 p.m., uh, which would really be nice. I don't have to do all the closing stuff, and and I can get off a little bit earlier. So, yeah, that, that'd be really good. And, yeah, last week I had a couple of those mid-shifts, and I seem to like them yeah they seem fine but the only bad news is that next week uh, I'm going to do some overnight shifts me and the manager and uh, another guy <clears throat> uh, we're going to be doing uh, nothing but making chips just cooking up tortilla chips and, well, I guess frying them up in the deep fryer and then bagging them and tagging them. We are doing that overnight for four nights uh, to get ready for the Super Bowl because that's when we sell the most chips. I guess, the most bag of chips during the Super Bowl. So yeah, that's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a little bit better than the uh, early morning shifts I had to do when I was at the gas station. I worked 5 to 11 two days. No, not, no, 5 to 1. 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. two days, yeah. And then I was supposed to work free free a.m. to 11 a.m. other two days, but uh, I, my shifts got changed at the last minute, so so I didn't have to do that. But now I have to work overnight, which might be a little bit better since. Now I don't have to get up at like 2 a.m. and go to work. I go in at 11 p.m. Slightly better. Yeah, <laughs> not looking forward to that. But then hopefully I can start working at noon. Yeah, but, but then after that, I'll hopefully be working at noon to 8 p.m. And hopefully that will stay and not not get changed when the 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 second manager comes back the the one who hurt her leg she yeah she, she's kind of been back for the past week I've, I've seen her a little bit. She's really only in work for a few hours. She's not back. I think she has to come back to work to keep her job because it was a, a workplace injury, workplace injury. So she has to keep working uh, so they can hold her job until she's back. For, for good, I think, but, uh, yeah, hopefully she, she doesn't come back and put me back on closing. Oh, and I also noticed that I hit 300 subscribers on this channel, so that's cool. Yeah, I, 
that. But like I said in another video, I just started this channel for fun uh, and started uploading random clips, uh, random video clips that I found. And so, so this channel didn't start out as my autism vlogs, but but they developed into this. Yeah. But they, but I started doing it, it like two years ago. I think almost two years ago. I guess this March will be two years. Yeah, started doing that. So, so I, I think right now the majority of the subscribers have come after I started doing these vlogs. So, so, uh, thanks for subscribing. But yeah, that's going to be all for this vlog. And oh, oh, wait, wait, I, I kept forgetting to show you my arm since the last time I showed it on camera, it was, it was all burnt, burnt and had scabs, but now, now it's, it's all healed, healed, all healed up from when I burnt it with steam. And yeah, it's been healed for a while and I just kept forgetting to show it on camera, but yeah, yeah, it's doing, fine now. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that's going to be all for this vlog, and until next video, goodbye. <laughs>